Hello my love. Welcome to my 2S gossip channel. Watch this video until end. Which Brown still owns Coyote Pass. And Cody Brown's relationship with daughter McKelty hit a snag with one hypocritical action. As Cody Brown of TLC's Sister Wives continues to lose his wives on the show, fans wonder what this means for Coyote Pass. While fans know Christine Brown is completely out of the picture now, what about the rest of the family? Namely, fans wonder if Cody and Robin Brown now own all of Coyote Pass. Or, have Mary and Janelle held on to their portion of the property despite things going down the tubes regarding their marriages to Cody. As TV shows Ace reported in October of last year, TLC doesn't paint a very clear picture of Coyote Pass. Sister Wives presents the concept of there being five different lots on the property. Cody, Mary, Robin, Janelle, and at one point in time Christine, each had a lot that belonged to them. The real breakdown, however, didn't work out that way as of last year. Technically, Robin Brown owns 52% of the property. Janelle Brown owns 32%. And, Mary owns just 15%. Cody Brown, however, has his name attached to the entire property and owns 100% of it. The reason this works out this way is because the property is broken up into different lots. But, all of the lots have Cody's name on them. Then, the lots also have at least one or two of the wives' names on them as well. So, it was never a situation where one member of Cody Brown's family was the sole owner of a specific chunk of the property. As far as fans know, this breakdown hasn't changed much over the past year. What about Janelle Brown? On a recent episode of the series, Janelle Brown opened up about feeling very, dumb. She noted that she put herself in a sticky situation. She was 50 years old and she owned nothing, she had nothing. Janelle explained that Christine was able to sell her home and move away with the profits because the home was in her name. Janelle, however, cannot do that because she has nothing in her name. The statement left fans scratching their heads as, to date, she still owns around 32% of Coyote Pass. Reality T estimates her chunk of the property to be worth approximately $170,000. The issue, however, is what was mentioned previously in the breakdown. Janelle Brown is not the sole owner of any portion of Coyote Pass. So, there isn't really an easy way for her to just sell her portion and pocket the profit. Likewise, Janelle was always the one member of the family who was very passionate about living on the property. So, fans have a hard time believing she would even want to part with the percentage that she owns. What do you think is going to happen with Coyote Pass? Should the family cut their losses? The ongoing saga of Robin Brown and her children receiving special attention from Cody Brown continues. Despite the patriarch's attempts to deny these claims, both sister wives, fans and family think Robin is his favorite wife, and Cody's actions speak louder than his words. His efforts to be the world's greatest dad to Robin's children have backfired, as his relationship with daughter McKelty Padron hit a snag due to his hypocritical behavior. As a devout Mormon, Cody strictly adheres to the belief that body piercings should only be for medical reasons. He even went so far as to prohibit his first three wives, who are now his exes, Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown, from wearing earrings and had them agree that nobody in the family would get their ears pierced. That is, until Robin entered the picture. After years of opposing the idea of a simple ear piercing, Cody relented and allowed his adoptive daughter, Aurora Brown, who is Robin's child, to have it done. Given his prior stance, this moment didn't sit well with McKelty, Christine's daughter, and it also drew the disapproval of sister wives, fans. Contrary to his religious convictions, Cody Brown took his and Robin Brown's daughter, Aurora Brown, to have her ears pierced, a moment captured in an episode of Sister Wives. While this might be considered ordinary for many, within the polygamous Brown family, the seemingly minor incident sparked major drama. McKelty Padron voiced her disappointment about the event on Patreon, as reported by Without a Crystal Ball, explaining that when she and her sisters lived at home, Cody never allowed them to get their ears pierced. What added to the issue was that Cody accompanied Aurora for this task, another thing he had never done for his other children, according to McKelty. While hinting at Cody's hypocrisy, 
McKelty did show some understanding, suggesting that his increased attention to Aurora might have been influenced by the filming of the entire process. In the episode in question, as per the U.S. son, Cody, expressed his desire to adhere to certain family rules, particularly those related to body piercings. However, he acknowledged that Robin already had piercings when she joined the Brown family and that, interestingly enough, her father had taken her to get them. This will be the first time I've ever gone with one of my daughters to get their ears pierced, Cody can be seen saying in the clip, earning himself some serious virtual side-eyeing from TLC viewers. Sister wives, fans, were quick to criticize Cody Brown for what they've dubbed, Pierced Ear Gate, on Reddit. One user found Cody's eagerness to oversee Aurora Brown's ear piercing strange, especially since she is of legal drinking age. Another pointed out that Cody might be using this as an opportunity to paint himself as a devoted father, while a third commenter questioned Cody's inability to conceal his favoritism, saying, he doesn't even try to cover it up. The thing is, everyone would likely get over the fact that Cody had a change of heart regarding ear piercing, but he's been demonstrating a pattern of favoritism that has been evident for years. When Isabel Brown, Christine Brown's daughter, needed out-of-town back surgery during the pandemic, Cody chose not to accompany her, instead officiating a friend's wedding around the same time. Christine took to TLC's cameras to share that Isabel felt hurt and confused by her father's actions. Moreover, Cody predominantly stayed with Robin and their five children during the height of the pandemic, shutting out the rest of his children and then wives. Considering the history leading up to Aurora's ear piercing, it appears that Cody may be attempting to make amends for the years when he was less involved as a father. With only one wife remaining after starting with four, he sure does have more time on his hands. What do you think about this video please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.